two, breathe, three. Waiting for us? The time has finally come. Though it brings main Freud. My loyal servants, one must bid you adieu till such time as I beckon you once more. Though we have faced many trials and. Tr what? You're just gonna bail on us? With the arrival of this giant meteorite, many more people have succumbed to the slumber. Strong as the main Fräulein and I shall tend to the victims on the soldiers' behalf. Goodbye. You are a good listener. I, to be honest, most of the other adventurers in the guild only ever talk to me when they want to hear this little journey we had. It was a great adventure. Huh? You're talking. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. What am I doing? I totally broke form! What main Fräulein means to say is... is... is that the mystical mysteries that vex and... Per uh... and now Oz's translation is the one... <clears throat> main Fräulein simply wishes to say... Ahem! <clears throat> Most indeed! <laughs> My dear attendants... I hereby charge the Ritter de- Who are you calling your attendant? We will meet again. Once this matter is concluded... <sighs> well, now we're two people short. But, let's not get hung up about that. The good news is, I found- I shaved some dust off the meteorite and used it to do another reading. These rocks have been around for hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. Leonard must have lived up the meteorites carry his will and can pass it on to others. In other words, Sentry- A guy from the distant past with a burning ambition to scale the highest mountain. An adventurer? That- Our approach so far has been too passive, and time has been against us every step of the way. We need to change our strategy- Paimon agrees! From now on, we need to put Leonard at the center of- Yes. Because if the meteorites carry Leonard's will with them, then it's precisely as Fischl said. I'm a little incredulous, but it turns out her blind guess was actually spot on. Anyway, all we need to do now is- Okie dokie. Since we've got a historical adventurer on our hands, Paimon thinks we should pay a visit to the- show that there have been many adventurers by that name over the years. It is... However, I do recall that there is a book in the library authored by someone called Leonard. Leonard. 
Leonard? The index says that Leonard's book should be in the northwest corner on the top floor of the library. Northwest corner... Of Mountains and Seas, a guide for adventurers written by... The words have faded, and there are even pages missing. Paimon's got no hope of reading this. Darn. Maybe we're just wasting our time on this one. Oh, right! Yeah, Mona! We found! Leonard wrote a book! Oh, let me see. <laughs> I could have predicted as much. Your average astrologist would definitely give up at this. But I am Mona, progenitor of the future of astrology. I simply need to deduce the missing portions with my astrolabe, write... <sighs> Finished at last. So what does it say? Just as I thought. Leonard was an adventurer who lived to... His lifelong dream was to reach the summit of a mountain called Pylos Peak. Two thousand years? So the constellation... Somehow, for some reason, this constellation was summoned down from the sky. Paimon thinks so too. Whenever something shady happens... The meteorites harbor elemental energy, which radiates out and lulls people to sleep, but... And if I'm guessing correctly, there should be some sort of core meteorite among the bunch. Within which... Well, if I were Leonard, I would want to make sure the core lands right on the snowy summit that I never made... So, the core should be at the top of Pylos Peak? Where is that? But it's the first I'd heard of it, too. So, I compared the map from the book against the current topography of Mondstadt. Are you trying to say that the tallest mountain Paimon's- I once read somewhere that the Animo Archon, Barbados, once used his divine power to mobilize the winds and blow the ice and snow from the face of the earth. The mountains of that age were replaced by the vast stretch of ocean we see today. Still, the mountain that high- the summit still reaches just above the water's surface, so the place known as Pylos Peak in Leonard's as Musk Reef. Not scared. Huh. 
Oh. So, this is Pylos Peak. Nam. Looks like someone beat us here. Is this like a popular tour? Ah, uh, it's you! <sighs> huh? You again? Look at the state he's in. Was he in that dream just now? He managed to extricate himself from the dream on his own strength? Ha! <laughs> just because you are powerless to do something does not mean that I... You're too late anyway. I finished my research. We knew it! This was all a dirty trick by the Fatui! Save it! No more fun and games for me today. I'll come for you when I'm good and ready. You entered the dream they've all been having, didn't you? How much- Leonard? Who's Leonard? Ah, uh, whatever. I have big- I've discovered something far more important. And f What? The stars. The sky. It's all a- The stars are a lie. <laughs> what are you- Is this some kind of astrological debate between you and Mona? Because if- Seriously, who's gonna fall for that one when you can just lift your head up at night? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you are still. Can't really blame you. After all... A few moments ago, you mean... Look, I really don't have the time to do this right now. What was the Jester thinking? He must have had some inkling of what we might discover on this mission. Would it really have been so difficult? Time for me to go out and find the truth. So long, sucker. Oh, can you believe that guy? He calls us suckers and then he just drops off. No one disrespects me. No one. Oh, time to show them what you get when you cross world-class genius with pure, unadulterated rage. <laughs> Sacred name, fortune preserver, guys. You need to hurry up. Let me scrub! Unfortunate fault! Delve into death! Shouldn't be careless! Too low! Wow! Told you! That's what happens when you disrespect me! You bet I am. Paimon, you agree too, right? D sure did. Without you here, those guys would have caused- See? How do you like that, Harbinger? Scum. He seemed genuinely shaken, though. I don't think he was lying. I was always taught to talk about the false sky during us. <laughs> I digress. Come on, let's finish the job we came to do. This stone harbors an unbelievable amount of elemental energy and human desire. Yes, otherwise the victims will never wake up. This core is the root cause of everything that has happened. <laughs> With ropes, we can scale mountains. With boats, we can sail the seas. By age 40, I had conquered every last domain. Pylos Peak alone defeated me. As an adventurer, and well, maybe in other ways too. Now, I am approaching the end of my life. Many times I have sat and stared up at that peak as the boundless snow slowly engulfed me. It is a beast without weakness. The merciless face of the world, it fills me with fear. And when an adventurer loses courage, they can no longer climb mountains. 
My mountaineering days may be over, but I have a greater ambition now. Humans create tools to conquer nature, and when nature conquers them in return, they create better tools. Where our legs cannot take us, maybe our tools can. And when tools fail us, perhaps wings can carry us instead. My dear friend, I leave you my designs for the wings of incompletion. Against the unknown, humanity stands as one. To be alive is to seek, to set foot in every place that the eye can see. I have little time remaining, though the wind has not yet come for my soul. But between us and your children, students, and friends, I believe that someone will reach that place at last. was unexpected. Who would have thought that human will can survive in the skies from astrology really is an incredible... Uh, what makes... The ability to communicate with the stars can give you access to all the secrets from throughout human history. Though, of course, very few astrologists ever reach... Uh, what's with the formal tone, all of it? And speaking of formal tone... What is the deal with that girl? Fit Paimon thinks so too. She's so. How to put this? Yeah. Although, if you. Is she one of these people who uses the wrong. You may well be right. Even so, Paimon thinks that the most surprising thing of all was how Pylos Peak. A mountain of yesteryear now sits as an island in the sea. Almost anyone from Mondstadt could reach it now. In other words, everyone can climb Pylos Peak now. Do you think Leonard would be happy about it? The situation with Pylos Peak might be... With wings, people can travel further and higher than ever before and explore new and unknown the victims should finally start waking up now that we've and we have finally finished our commission from the adventurers guild <laughs>